to get started on Vector. So you'll go to vector.com and click on sign up or join. So you might see this screen. I'm just going to sign in with my Google. So it should use my school Google account to do that for me. Let's wait for this to load. Okay, you probably have to select your Google account. I've just done that before. There we go. Here comes back to loading. I'm just using the online version as I suspect you would on a Chromebook. So there's a couple of things I've made, but I'm just going to maybe make a new one. So create a file. And then here's what Vector looks like. So I'm going to get into um, a few little bits about setting up a page first. So I want to put um, a grid on my page just because I find it easier to line things up and kind of work out a bit of measurement. If I go to the file settings as well, I want to change my measurement to millimeters. And I'm also just going to give this a name, this project. So I'm going to call this a uh, demo. Okay, and then just click off when you've finished. So make sure I'm still in millimeters. Now, um, if I go over to the side here, I've got my drawing tools, I've got my pen tool, I've got my pencil tool, text tool, uploading images and other shapes. So if I'm thinking about making the box, I'm gonna to need to draw a square. So I'm just gonna put in an arrow anywhere and draw a square, or what I presume looks like a square. And now that that's activated, I can come over here and change the dimensions of that square. So you just click in this box and then don't try and delete or backspace or anything. Just type in the dimensions that you want. So I want to be 80 wide. And then at the moment you can see, I don't know if you can see this little chain links on there. So it keeps the ratio the same. So if I change the width, it'll automatically change the height. If I don't want it to do that, so I'm going to untick that. I'm going to click in here as well, type 80, and press enter. And that gives me my square. Now I can move this around if I want to draw another shape. So let's just draw another rectangle. I can draw another one. It gives me dimensions of that. So let's just change that for a minute and make it 25 by, I don't know, 35. Um, I can flip it horizontally, vertically, send it to the back. So I basically mean it'll go behind there when I drag it. But now I, I want to try and align that with this shape. So I can move it around, start to see that there's the center point. Um, it'll move all these other lines in and around. But I've not figured out what they are yet. That's obviously aligned with the top edge now. But I want to align it in the middle. So let me try and find that middle again. There it is. And you can zoom with two fingers and have a little look around. And I want to try and zoom, put it on that, just so it's inside that edge. And if I hold shift, I can pick two objects and I can start to add it on. I can start to subtract it, do intersects and exclude it. So if I add it on, see now I've got one shape. I'm going to zoom out a bit. So that's a little bit of a um, tutorial just done very easily how to start using Vector. It's a new tool for me as well. Um, I'm sure that you can now figure out how you're going to build your box that we've asked you to do from your drawings. So have a play and good luck with that.